millions of years, dugongs have graced part of the Pacific Ocean. They occur from East Africa in the Indian Ocean to Vanuatu in the Pacific Ocean. They are found in six states in the Pacific Island region. Dugongs are the only surviving species of the family Dugongidae. Dugongs play a significant ecological role in maintaining coastal habitats. Dugongs specialise only in eating seagrasses. They're like farmers that till their crops, they come back and dig up the same areas at regular intervals. This keeps the community diverse with lots of different species of seagrass and full of young plants that are rich in nutrients. This not only benefits the dugongs but also the other species that feed on seagrasses. They are also of high cultural value. A high valued source of food, medicine and artifact and thus a very important species for coastal peoples. Dugongs are very important to coastal people in different ways in different places. In many places in the Pacific there are very high cultural value and there are many cultural activities that are associated with hunting and eating dugongs. In some places they're really important for, for, as a food source and in other places they're a very important source of income for fishermen. Dugongs are seagrass specialists. They depend on seagrass for most of their food. Dugongs have a lifespan of about 70 years. They are slow breeders. Females first breed at the age of 6 to 17 years, having a gestation period of 13 to 15 months. They suckle their young for 14 to 18 months. Females bear one calf every 2.5 to 7 years, depending on their food supply. Dugongs are very long-lived, like people, and they breed very slowly. So the activities that are most damaging to dugongs are those that kill adults. Activities like hunting or catching animals accidentally in fishing nets. Dugongs are at risk of becoming extinct due to threats from human activities, especially gill nets, boating, poaching and unsustainable harvesting, poor plan development that impact on seagrass. Globally, dugongs are listed as vulnerable to extinction. This means that they are already under threat, and anything that mankind does that impact on them will add to that and make things worse. In the Pacific Island region, the status of dugong populations is generally unknown. In Palau, they are of particular concern as the dugong population there is the most isolated in the world and is likely to be critically endangered. It is our responsibility to protect these endangered animals before it is too late. Their survival depends on Pacific-wide partnerships and national committed conservation initiatives in each Dugong Range state. You can help. Uh, since 2003, um, SPREP has been um, under its uh, Regional Marine Species Program, um, has been implementing five-year action plans to um, provide guidelines for information and partnership on dugongs and their habitats. The current uh, SPREP action plan, 2008-2012, centres on nine key thematic areas uh, which have resulted in increased awareness, partnership and protection of dugongs. Obviously there's also a long way to go uh, but over the past year we feel that uh, there's been a lot to celebrate in terms of protecting uh, dugongs. Even though dugongs um, only occur in the waters of uh, six of our 21 Pacific Island uh, member countries, uh, those six being Australia, New Caledonia, 
uh, Palau, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. The proposal to declare 2011 the Pacific Year of the Dugong was uh, unanimously supported by all uh, SPREP member countries. Uh, in terms of specific activities that uh, progressed the uh, uh, Dugong agenda last year, uh, we really have to note a key achievement by the, the government of Palau in declaring its entire exclusive economic zone uh, a marine mammal sanctuary and that includes protection uh, of the dugong. Also by the end of uh, 2010 all SPREP members that have dugongs um, signed uh, a memorandum of understanding for the conservation and management of dugongs under the Convention of Migratory Species. Well, conserve dugons, we can develop appropriate legislation. No one obey the law. Consider the impacts of coastal development on seagrass habitats. Minimize impacts from gill netting and control boating where dugons occur. Stop excessive hunting. Stop the use of destructive fishing methods. Protect important habitats for dugons. Start and support dugon conservation work and researches. Where the wind? Dugongs are a unique part of our Pacific Island heritage. Respect and protect them.